joins me now. David, let's have a look at the public polling on these two candidates and how they fare against Keir Starmer. I think the first thing to, to understand is that for many members of the public, this has been an education because they don't really know much about these. Rishi Sunak, of course, because he's seen us through uh, the pandemic and been Father Christmas for the best part of two years, handing out large sums of money in order to keep the economy afloat. Um, but Liz Truss, Penny Mordaunt and others, names which might vaguely stick in the back of people's minds. So it's been catch up. Um, and therefore, I'm saying that because one has to be, I think, a bit cautious about when we say, what does the public think about them? They don't think a great deal. Uh, it's not meant to insult anybody, mm. but it's a reality. And therefore, we need to uh, be careful about assuming too much. But opinion asked um, the members of the public, which um, government would they support if it was led by, and they said Keir Starmer, 46% said Keir Starmer, Sunak, 35%. Liz Truss, Starmer, government led by Starmer, 46. Liz Truss, 32. So in both cases, um, they, they are behind. But again, it's terribly artificial. It's so hypothetical that I wouldn't want mm. us to sort of get really tied into it and say, well, game, set and match, the next election Absolutely. is won. But those are some of the preliminary grounds. And so clearly either, either um, Sunak or Truss has much ground to catch up. Let's have a look at the people who are deciding this, which is Conservative mm. Party members. Who are they? Just tell us a bit about who is, who is likely to be a Conservative Party member, what do they look like, how old are they, where do they live? It's notoriously difficult because you need people to be sampled, but Professor Tim Bale has done with other colleagues uh, sterling work in this. And so the best of my understanding of where they are, the average age is 50 and above, more men than women, significantly more members in the southeast than in the Midlands and in the north. In terms of attitudes, socially conservative uh, in the main. Um, Brexit, significantly. Um, none of which is, I guess, perhaps too surprising. But the big challenge to them, Gloria, as it was to Labour Party members, is when you're confronted with a leader candidate, are you looking for somebody who makes you feel comfortable in yourself with what you think, what you believe? Mm. Or are you more com looking for somebody who can for form a government, win an election? The two aren't necessarily the same. I know, I know. Well, I lived under the period uh, of, of, of Jeremy Corbyn when some members don't necessarily make both calculations. They often think, who makes me feel better about myself? Um, uh, do we know who's winning their hearts so far, these Conservative Party members? Well, still time to go, as we know, and lots of debates to take place. But there was a whole raft of polling um, of Conservative Party members. And I think the universal message uh, so far appears to be that it's anybody but Sunak. So if they, if they put, up, put him up against Mordaunt before yes. her departure, they put him up against uh, Truss, if they put him up against anybody else. Uh, almost invariably, it varied a little, but the thing that didn't vary was that other people won rather than him. Which is fascinating. 